Hi, everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining us today for our webinar on current job openings for community health nurses at the Tompkins County Community Health Services Division. I'm Shannon Alvord, Public Health Communications Coordinator at the Health Department, and I'll be asking our panelists some questions today to help you learn more about this open position. We are really grateful for this opportunity to come together today to share more with you all about um, this really great position, how you can apply, and most of all, why working at Tompkins County is a great choice for you. We are joined today by an excellent panel of staff from our Community Health Services Division, Rachel Buckwalter, Senior Community Health Nurse, and Carol Silberman, who is also a Community Health Nurse. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Um, I'm going to share very briefly um, an overview of um, how to find open positions and how to apply, um, not just to this community health services position, but also um, to any position in the county. So I'm going to share my screen now. Um, here we go. Okay, so to find an open position, go online to TompkinsCountyNY.gov and click on the right hand um, career opportunities button on the top of the screen. Okay, from there, you'll see all current vacant positions. Um, the community health nurse position is the top one right now, but it could get bumped down. They go on here um, alphabetically. So in order to learn more about the position, um, you would click on the community health nurse title or any title that you're interested in. Um, and it will give you more information about the position. To apply, click on this apply button on the right hand side, and it will take you to a um, another screen where you will be asked to um, to be screened some questions about applications um, to, in order to meet minimum qualifications and all of that. Um, you would submit and continue and then you'll be prompted to create a, um, an application form and a profile in order to apply for the civil, civil service jobs. Um, if you have any questions about any of that, please do reach out to our great staff at the Human Resources Department for the county. Their contact information is located on the left-hand side of the screen. Okay, now I'm going to stop sharing <laughs> and turn it back to our panelists so that we can get um, into this the great nuts and bolts of this position and share with you what you came here to learn about today. So before we begin with our Q&A session, I'd like to introduce our two panelists, Rachel and Carol, welcome and thank you both for joining us today to represent the Community Health Services Division. Can you quickly share with us a little bit about your background and how long you've been working for the health department? I can go first. <laughs> um, I've been an RN since 1993. I've worked in women's care, pediatrics, internal medicine, obstetrics. I was a field nurse for Cortland County Health Department, and most recently I was a school nurse. And I've been with Tompkins, Tompkins County Health Department since August 2021. Um, <clears throat> I became a nurse in 2002, and I've worked in a variety of settings, um, including pediatrics, community health, um, hospice, home care. Um, I've been with the health department for almost 10 years. I moved into a senior nurse role in 2020. And currently I manage the CD program, communicable disease, immunizations, and our safe care parenting program. Great. Thank you so much. Um, Rachel, could you share with us a little bit of the nuts and bolts of the community health nurse position? When's the date to apply by, sa starting salary, um, all those good details. Yes, glad to. <laughs> all right, so the position is currently open on our website and it will be open and posted until it's filled. Um, we're looking to hire as soon as possible. We've had this gap for a few months now. So we're really um, looking to fill it and eager for some great candidates. 
Um, the position is full time. Full time here is 35 hours a week. So um, typically it's a 8.30 to 4.30 day um, with an hour for a lunch break. Um, the starting salary is $33.01, and that's the higher rate. If you're not familiar with civil service, there's a you get hired at one rate, and then um, you pass through a prob probationary period, and after nine months, you go to the working rate, and that would be $35.84 is the working rate. Excellent. Um, Carol, could you describe for us the main duties of the community health services nurse and the purpose of their function? Absolutely, Shannon. I've been working in communicable disease um, pretty much um, since February or January, February. Uh, so I've been learning a lot. And the main role of this community health nurse position is to view our county's labs and diagnostic tests. Uh, for certain reportable diseases on a daily basis and investigate them. And by investigate them, we mean diving into their medical records to find the possible cause or causes of their illness, looking at their symptoms, the course of their disease process and their treatment, if it's warranted. We often will interview the community member by phone and this helps build rapport with them. Uh, while we're getting further details um, to their investigation. These reportable diseases include such as tick-borne diseases, gastrointestinal diseases, some airborne diseases, hepatitis um, A through C, and those are just name a few. The purpose of doing this work is that it's a mandated program in the state and um, we're, so, you know, we monitor these diseases and again, try to figure out uh, what's going on with the person. Um, another role of the CD nurse is working in our tuberculosis program. Um, if we have persons in the community with active or infectious tuberculosis, this nurse will work closely with the person on a daily basis to ensure that they're taking their medication and offering education and support to that person and uh, often to their close contacts and family members as well. Other times this nurse will get involved with reaching out to immigrants who might have a positive TB blood test. We would then help them get further testing to determine if they might have active or latent TB and eventually have them meet and coordinate treatment with our um, county's contracted infectious disease doctor. The CD nurse also gets to work in other programs that we offer here, such as rabies and immunization programs. And these are chances to work offsite as well, doing outreach and education in our community. These all help to support and promote positive rapport with our community members. Thank you so much, Carol. That's really great. It sounds like um, with this role, there's really an opportunity to be engaged with the public um, in a variety of ways and, and providing education and support um, and doing outreach and, and sort of investigative work um, for a variety of topics. So it kind of sounds like there's never a dull moment in this work. Um, Rachel, what would you say um, how this position fits into the overall vision or mission of the health department? Sure. So our, our vision and mission is to have a healthy community and to prevent disease and to promote wellness. And so um, public health is really looking at, even though with these communicable diseases, we're getting cases of people that are usually already sick, we're looking to prevent transmission to another person. Um, so we're mandated to do this work from the state. Um, the State Department of Health um, gives mandated functions to each county for that for their work. So hospitals, doctors' offices, labs are required to report um, diseases to the health department. There's a, a centralized lab reporting system, and every day we go in and pull a batch of reports from that system for Tompkins County residents. So we get sort of this personalized look every day at what's going on in our county. Um, so then we investigate that report and we ensure that it, first of all, it meets case definition. Is it really a case or not a case? And then we try to, depending on that disease, intervene to stop transmission to someone else. So this could involve contact tracing, which we did in a, on a grand scale during COVID, just huge amounts of that. Um, quarantine and isolation. It could involve vaccinating close contacts if you know we have a short window to get in there and try to vaccinate before someone develops the disease. 
Um, we provide a lot of education to physician offices, hospitals, labs, also to the case, also to any identified contacts um, on how to reduce the spread of disease. So it just, it helps keep our community safe. Um, it's kind of exciting, fast paced work. Um, and it's, I find it really fascinating. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, the general public is now more familiar with some of those terms than we may have been prior to the pandemic, but we certainly have an, an understanding and appreciation for the work of contact tracing and that side of things. And, and this role is that and, and so much more. Um, would you mind sharing, you know, just your thoughts? Um, this could be to Carol, um, how this position supports the Tompkins County community overall. Yeah, the CD nurse, uh, you know, will field calls from the public. Um, they'll be calling in, asking questions. And um, so we educate people that way um, during our course of investigating them. Uh, you know, we're monitoring them, we're giving them education, and people are really pretty grateful about that and feel good to be, you know, that they're supported. Um, and also a fair amount of people I'd say that I've interviewed, uh, um, also feel strongly like they want to protect others and they don't want people to get sick. So they really like helping us out. Great. Um, our next question um, ties into a question we, we have from an audience member today as well. So um, Rachel, could you describe a little bit more about the um, specific skills and backgrounds needed, any credentials or qualifications? Um, and in addition, <laughs> Is it okay if an applicant doesn't have a public health background for this role? Sure. Yeah, so the specific qualifications are all listed out very detailed on the job posting on our HR site, but I can just give a quick highlight reel here. Um, you can have a bachelor's degree or an associate's degree in nursing. Um, if you have an associate's degree, you need two years of experience in nursing. If a bachelor's degree, only one year is, is fine. You need a current nursing license. Um, we find it's really important for nurses because you, you know diseases, you know how to uh, talk to patients, educate patients. Um, you know, all of our nurse training is really helpful for this role. Um, you need a New York State uh, driver's license, CP, current CPR certification, and current infection control training, which is required by New York State for your nursing license anyway. So. Yeah, that's the that's the basics. I think um, in terms of the question about public health experience, you don't really need public health experience. Um, you know, nursing is such a varied job. You can work in a variety of settings, but the skills between settings are, are really similar in that um, you connect with patients, you build a rapport with them, you know how a disease progresses, you can teach them, and you have this systems approach to health. Um, I think it does help to know a little bit about public health, even if you haven't worked in it yet. Um, public health is very mission driven and values driven and that we really look to um, promote equity. We're really looking at bigger picture uh, population health and where there are gaps. I think I like to tell people that, you know, in the hospital, when you're working as a nurse, your patient's right in front of you and you know, that's your patient and you care for them. When you're doing public health, your patient is the whole population of Tompkins County. It's it's a bigger picture um, and it, it's, it changes from day to day. It's not always the same, like, you know, you have five patients that you give medications to on a hospital floor. So I think it's really exciting work, um, but we can teach you all of that stuff. Um, if you have an interest in public health, where we'd love to have you. Great. Thanks so much. And that was a really great um, on the spot synopsis of um, public health. So thank you, Rachel. Um, what would you say are some desired skills um, beyond those like essential must haves that would really help to make for a successful candidate in this role? Yeah, just to sort of piggyback on Rachel, what Rachel said. Um, most of us being RNs, you know, just have these skills anyway, in the, whatever role we've done, right, education and history taking and um, building rapport with our patients. But um, I would say phone skills and particularly interviewing skills are really important. 
Um, the nurse should have a style that's conveying support and empathy in a non-judgmental manner. Um, the nurse in this position should also have an inquisitive mind and once learned many different diseases that we investigate here. Often I joke that I feel a little bit like a detective at times because <laughs> um, I'm just investigating so many things. Um, and sometimes, you know, just having to, um, I don't know, the story kind of un un unfolds itself uh, when I look into people's history. Sometimes it's really fascinating. Um, other than that, like being able to work independently is important, but you've got to know you've got a great support here at the health department um, with other staff. And then there's uh, higher ups like in regional offices that are always willing to help us. Um, and it's important to be aware that there's certain timelines and you have to be able to prioritize. But mo as I say, most nurses need to or they do that anyway. Um, yeah. Great. Thank you both for those those answers. Um, for anyone who's who's watching today, um, could you ex describe a little bit um, question for both of you? Like what? What is it like to work for the health department or your division? Um, and that there's also sort of a, a similar question in our Q and A. Um, just, you know, like what's the difference between public health nurses and and um, a regular nurse or someone working in a private practice or hospital? Just sort of a comparison, like why come to Tompkins County Health Department? Well, the things that I've enjoyed about working for the county, um, I've been here about a year and three months and um, COVID cases were just on the rise. So I was jumping in in the middle of a pandemic um, and then and that was really exciting. And part of being our mission, as Rachel beautifully said, you know, that we're, we're trying to protect, support um, the public and our community members and, and be there as a resource for them too. Um, so what struck me immediately when I started working here was just being part of this team and, um, and I loved working with and learning from other nurses here, including Rachel, she's been a great mentor for me learning communicable disease. Um, and within just the world of communicable disease, there's such a variety of work. So this always keeps me interested and exciting about my job, excited about my job. And uh, one reason I took the job here was to learn and grow. And I would say that's totally come true for me. And there's absolutely no two days that are alike. <laughs> and I really enjoy that. I never know what to expect and um, what's going to be in the labs that day. So. Yeah, I would just echo all that. Our team is really great here. Um, I know you have a lot of choices in nursing as to the setting you want to be in. Um, and one of the reasons I went into public health was to have, be a little more family friendly schedule. I wanted a Monday through Friday, you know, nine to five rather than like three 12 hour shifts. Um, so, you know, generally we don't work weekends. We have paid holidays. Um, we have vacation time. We do have some on call after hours um, that we all share, but it's, it's minimal. It's really not um, a huge burden for staff and uh, the team really pitches in to cover for each other, help each other out. Um, so, and the variety is great, like Carol said too. We have so many different programs. Um, this position is mainly CD, but you would also work in our immunization clinic. Uh, we have that uh, weekly on Fridays. And um, we also do a lot of pop-up immunization clinics all over the county. Um, so those are really fun to work at in terms of really getting a feel for, for our community and the different settings that we work in. Um, I really think the CD work is, is cutting edge. It's fast paced. You're on like, you know, the edge of a new disease. <laughs> um, following COVID, we had monkeypox and then we had polio and now we have RSV. And so, you know, there's just always something new to learn. Um, the state is really good about continuing education. We have a lot of opportunities through CDC and New York State DOH to learn um, about these diseases so we can educate the community in a better way. So. Yeah, I think COVID really highlighted the unique role that public health plays. Um, you know, when you go see your doctor, they're supposed to tell you about, you know, how long you're infectious for and how long you need to isolate. But that part kind of, you know, they're, they're focused on treating the patient in front of them. And I think there's this role for us to play that's a little bigger picture in terms of like how, how do diseases impact? How do we spread diseases among people? And, and we can 
share a lot with the community there and how to prevent disease. Very great answers. Thank you both so much. Um, sort of one follow-up question to that. You mentioned your work with COVID and Carol, you started right in the thick of things and Rachel's been a, um, a stalwart leader for us throughout um, the pandemic response. So for folks who have maybe been in the healthcare field and left as a result of um, stress of the pandemic and, and, and all that's been asked of our healthcare system, for anyone who's who's tuning in, who's like interested in in you know coming back into the field, or maybe just getting started in a new pathway on their their healthcare career of choice, um, what would what would your advice be on 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 navigating that feeling? I guess I can go. <laughs> um, I would say that. Uh, you know, from the get-go, it's very welcoming and very supportive of your taking care of yourself. Um, I don't know who brought them in, but we actually had yoga classes um, here, which was phenomenal to take an hour to just relax and kind of rejuvenate during the height of things. Um, you know, the, there's just a mindset for people to really take care of themselves, to take a walk, to take a break, to flex hours, you know, you're not expected to work crazy hours and um, and the time off is really great and it's almost always honored, I would say, so. Yeah, we really wanna take care of our staff. We wanna prevent burnout. Early on in COVID, there was really significant, you know, sometimes 12 hour days, seven days a week um, when we were just early on and we didn't realize what we were up against. Um, we. Our administration here is committed to supporting nurses and you know we added a whole bunch of contract nurses to our team during COVID to accommodate the huge increase in workload. Um, so moving out of that, you know, we really want to be sustainable. We really want to honor, you know, the working hours and encourage people to also, you know, go home at the end of the day. And uh, as supervisors, we keep in close touch with our with our who we're supervising, like have regular one on ones to say, how's your workload? What can I do to help you? Um, how can I help you balance things? Is there something I need to take off your plate? So we really, um, really want to keep nurses happy. <laughs> they do tremendous work. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, thank you both so much. I am not seeing any additional questions in the Q&A. Um, I'll just take this as an opportunity to thank you both for your service during the pandemic and beyond. Um, and I can echo your sentiments too as an employee at the health department, just um, you know that this really is a great place to work and no matter what unit you're a part of, um, there's, there's great team, um, great team effort and support across the department um, and within divisions. And it's it's been really um, great for me to get to work with the nurses team as well and, and support your efforts. Um, so it's really all hands on deck here at the health department. We welcome new applicants for this position. Um, like Rachel said, it will be open until filled. So please go online to tompkinscountyny.gov and um, apply for this position. Thank, Thank you, you all so much. Thanks, Shannon. Mm -hmm.